Hey Love Bugs, it's Riles Mac at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while, have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as well as you get to know more. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much for the love and support. But still, drop a line and would love the chance to get to hear from you. And um, sending so much love, light, whatever you're needing to get through your days, minutes, hours, seconds, milliseconds, or whatever. Just to uplift you, keep you going, keep you thriving, and being the best version of yourself you can be. Any protection and love from anybody who's coming up in here with these low vibration, nefarious intention, hidden motives, all that. Everything is protected. Strongly loved and heavily guided. So... I'm sending a love and healing towards your way. And the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's just because it started off bad doesn't mean it has to end that way. It's true. You know, there's a lot of times we don't understand that, you know, it, it'll be a journey that we're on. And, you know, it can really be really messed up. You know, went through some stuff. You know, whatever it is that just shook you to the core. And then you finding out your truth. You're being guided away from that. Being able to understand, I put you on this mission for you to really deal with something heavy you know and i need you to fi figure out your way to get out of that and you're like wait a minute what <laughs> you know be one of those different things you know where um it will be just like the certain things in, within your life that you may have gone through and experienced in your growth because you're probably that anointed one you were the chosen one you're where you're breaking generational curses and for that for you to do it you got to go through some ultimate hell. <laughs> a lot it has weight on it. You know, one of those different things. And you're trying to allow yourself to get up out of that. Trying to see what you need to do. What do you need to change? What you need to focus on? What you need to let go of? Be able to step back and see the bigger picture of all these different things that's taking place. And you're really trying to understand your purpose. All, all that too. Because it could be things that you, you know, you're heading towards. And you really thought, you, this is what I want to be. This is what I want to do. These are the different things that I want to go to school for. You know, um, so I can do this business. You know, have an MBA, be, all those different things, and you finally get to it, and it just doesn't fulfill you in that way. It will be something that you thought you want to have big, you know, the big yayas for, you know, big Jones for it, and be like, I don't really feeling that, you know, or you're in a situation right now that you are just not happy in, you know, you really just trying to find your Zen moment, and for you to do that, you know, universe puts you in situations like that so you can be that person to have that ultimate antidote. For change, and we all have that, but we had to go through that journey to be able to seek that, find that out. Because you know, they always say everything you're looking for is already within. Anything I promised you is already yours. You're just getting that direct alignment for you to be able to receive it. Whatever is for you will continue to be for you. There's no way you can miss it. All these different things, but you're finding out this journey about yourself, where certain things had to happen from the outside for you to recognize what's in. Or you're, you know, allowing yourself to see what you're attracting. Allowing what you see where you have to break away from. Different things that you had to forgive yourself and others. You know, situations where you, what was that situation supposed to teach me? What do I, what do I need to learn from these situations? And it's just like you can really go through some really hectic stuff. Really hectic stuff. But it doesn't mean it has to be that. It has to stay that way. We all have a choice. You know, to a certain extent, depending on the situation, you know, if it's meant to be able to change that, you had to find out within yourself, how would you be able to change? Because there'll be certain things that will be hitting you that, you know, you, if you know, if you're creating a blessing for yourself, a lot of times that, I mean, you will go, you constantly set back, set back, set back. And it'll be those different things where you just like, look, this ain't for me. But it's just like when you really know you want something in your life you already know this is going to benefit you you're creating something to, you know for it to be able to fall on and your your you know in your legacy and all these different things you want to be able to show your children you want to be able to show your future children these are the different things that i want you to be able to learn and appreciate in life you know it's just like we wish in school i don't know if they may have it in school now but it's just like you know it should have showed you how to balance textbooks you, you know being able to be you know self-sufficient being able to practice self-care you know these different things that we we deal with nowadays it's just like shoot we're gonna have a school with hey everybody gonna be meditating <laughs> you know writing down different things that you're trying to create in your life make a better thing for it and for you to be able to do that you know how am I supposed to do that? You're taking action on placing these goals. Like, I want to have this by a certain time. 
You know, I'm giving myself this time frame. You're writing it down. And so if you're writing it down, what do you have to do to put action in to make sure this happens? You're writing this stuff down. And these are the different things that you're doing in life where you know you're really getting serious in the situations that you're in. And you're using whatever situation you're in to create something better. You know, and a lot of times it's hard for us to do that. It's just all about mindset. You know, how we, you know, what do we see in a perspective? Are we changing the dynamic of seeing the bigger picture on certain things that had to happen in that way? You know, there's a lot of times different things where, you know, I love watching true crime. And um, on these different, uh, you know, YouTube channels and stuff like that. I can be in my feelings about some stuff be going off. But then it'll be, you know, you're seeing the different things that you see people going through. And then you see some kind of miracle that will take place after something that hits you really hard on that. You know, it'll be different things like that where, you know, people are unalive. And next thing you know, you start a foundation just because you want to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else. And you're not realizing, even though there's somebody that I really care for got taken away from me, this and this and that. Their, their presence, they, they learn, they help you grow, you love them, they love you back. And these are something that where time was really cut short for them. Then all of a sudden, this happened, like they made their mark in the world. They, they embraced it and all this stuff. But then they got led to this kind of tragedy. And just notice and there's a beautiful uh, foundation that you place in that person's name to make sure I never want anybody else going through something like that. Even though this is something that's really hurt me to the core, but this is what I don't want to have happen to anybody else we started a foundation for this we started you know uh new uh things where this is going to happen and there's different states just getting it too for that it happened not realizing that was the blessing that that person was meant to come up in here and do just right this situation happening it, it's just so much stuff is going on in the world today and i'm just like well, we got to do better i'm so tired of hearing all these things going off where you can't even go on you know a uh, spring break without you know things happening you can't go to a mall without stuff happening my god it, it feel like we can't we're not safe nowhere you know and these different things that's going off in the world where you just really want and change to happen in the world because some of this stuff just is it, ridiculous but you know i digress you know i ain't going there but it, it'll be just different things that goes on into your life you know where it can really have you scraping at the bottom of the barrel that don't mean that you're going to stay there There'll be a lot of times where you're going you gonna to get mad at your own self. Like, look, we have been down in this slum and this and that for so long. What are you going to do to get out of this? Are you giving up on yourself? Are you just saying this is what my life consists of? Or are you going to find a means to get yourself up out of it? You know, and these a lot of times that that's what it is. Because it's, it's like, you know, you're going through situations. You really take a step back, you know. You may be going through some really devastating stuff and you're really, you know, you're opening your heart up, you know, and sometimes it's hard for you to do that because there'll be cert certain things that may be taking place in your life and love's trying to flow through. And a lot of times we're so consumed by what we're lacking or we're so consumed about what somebody did or we're so consumed about what was stolen from us, all these different things and you're not allowing that love to come in to be able to guide you towards better, you know. And it'll be those things where you had to practice patience. That's that's a threat. That's a fighting word. You know, believing in yourself. You know, have faith that this too shall pass. These situations weren't you weren't placed into your life for you to stay stuck like that. But you knew there was a purpose of there was there's something that you feel like is missing. You know, it's there. But you haven't came, came into initial contact with it yet. And this is that exact situation you had to go through to be able to find out what that big thing was. And for you to be able to do that, you had to go through the ultimate healing. You had to go through the, the hardest thing that tried to break you in every way possible. You know, you, you have tried to hold things, hold on to things or people that God was, you know, trying to break away from you D different things was going on where this was only supposed to be a season a reason for a season a lesson for a blessing and these are the different things you're achieving on that you know the different things where you know you're going to have to be able to not settle keep raising the bar onto yourself keep believing you are your own competition you ain't competing against nobody don't allow nobody else to put you in a competition. Only person I'm trying to compete against is the person I was yesterday. I could have been in a little funky mood yesterday. And I'm going to allow myself to step forward be a better day. You know, it's all about how you look at your day. For you to be able to go through it. You ask God, you get, get, 
you know, gratitude the most high. He woke you up this morning. Still, you were still going through that purpose. Even if you yet to discover that, you were still moving in that purpose. It's guiding you to be able to really look. Because a lot of times when we're going through so much negative stuff, that's how we keep seeing things. You know, and that'll be like you creating that for your reality. Are you seeing the different things that I'm, I'm healing you from? Are you seeing the different things I'm trying to bring towards your life? Are you really learning the life lessons that I'm telling you where the healing needs to take place at? Be honest, be transparent, be grateful for those different things. Because these things are teaching you every day. And it'd be like, like those things that really cut deep, really hit deep. You don't realize how that's manifesting some kind of power, power move for you. But it's up to you to be able to see that. Because a lot of times things are like, you know, we don't believe in the silver lining at times. Because it's just like, you know, you're trying and trying and trying. And God is like, just because it didn't poof up and happen yet. Or you're seeing other people get their blessings and it's like, damn, I've been working hard as hell. Why, why ain't mine here? You know, but you can't, com you can't compare your life to somebody else's. You don't know what that person had to sacrifice. You don't know how long they've been on that journey. You don't know what has been taken out of that life. But a lot of times we see the glory. But we don't see the story. We want we see the outcome, but don't know what kind of process they had to go through, you know. And these are the different things where, when you have gone through so many different things like that, and you know when you stand in your own power, I refuse for my life to continue to be this way. You know, I refuse that. And even if you're going through something like that, you know, it's like how you pose a change. A lot of time, our change, no matter for it to change, is that have to have to change our mindset. We have to be able to allow ourselves to say, speak, speak achievement into our life, speak manifestation into our life, prosperity, abundance in every kind of way. It got to be financial, but it's everything else that comes on to that that can lead to ultimate financial. These are the different things you had to go through. There's different things to where you placed yourself in and it's like, uh, it's not my zen. And it's like, okay, but this is a, a situation where God got allowed you to go through for experience, but then showing you this is not where I'm leaving you. You just had to go through this way and have this as an example. And then when you get towards the thing I meant to, you gonna understand why I sent you this way. You know, and there's a lot of times, you know, you get mad. You know, I, I'm me and me and God on the head like this. I'm like, look. <laughs> you know, you know, sent me to all these daggone places, to knock on all these doors, and th these just didn't accept me. They saw me at the door, didn't want to answer it. They're gonna try to tell me no. No is the next opportunity. Somebody don't want to open that door. Hell, you gonna come back and build, buy that whole daggone building. Keep on at it. I'm gonna buy the whole damn street if you're messing with me. It'll be one of those type of different things. But he was just like the, the thing I was trying trying to show you. Even though you didn't know what was behind that door, you still had courage enough to go knock on that door. And that door, and that door, and that door. And even though it made you discouraged, even though you you know, you know, really just didn't see something good that was coming out of this situation for it to become better, you still had faith when God told you to do that. And that's all he's trying to tell you. Believe when I'm sending you somewhere. Even though it may make you mad, maybe in your feelings, you know. You're like, well, how's this supposed to be my bag? Or this supposed to be this? And it's just like, you know, he's wanting you to see the bigger picture of it. You, you went to where he said went. You were obedient even when you didn't know what was going on. You were still obedient in that. And God wants you to be able to see it as that. We all go through different stuff. There's a chapter of our lives. Hell, it's a whole half a book of contents that we don't announce to a lot of people. You know, there's a lot of times we go through some stuff and we don't want to be a burden on nobody. So we deal with that stuff by ourselves. You know, you keep convincing yourself. You know, I'm going to get out of this. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this, but I'm, I'm going to get out of it. Give myself patience. It's due for a process. And a lot of times it's hard for you to see things in that process because you're going through some real intense stuff. And God be running around. He will sit you in the daggone war and tell you, peace be still. Okay? And we can peace be still on that. And you're like, how you want to tell me peace be still? And these the, the arrows and guns and, you know, swords being swung. And, you know, you protect it. This is where it's showing you you have faith once again. Even though all this is going on around you. Are you going to focus on what's all going on around you? Or are you going to focus why I tell you to focus? And be those exact situations where you're being obedient even when it's hard. You know, even if you have a setback that day and it didn't go the way you wanted it to, you know, you learn from that. They tell you never feel shame or regret on certain things. Never be, you know, regretting having a kind heart. You know, you're a blessing in so many people's lives. Even if they don't even sit up here and tell you thank you. You are a blessing in somebody's life. You know, and those different things, just, you know, took place into your life and then it'll be get to a point 
where you're surpassing all the things that you know you worked hard to be able to get above. You rising above all those different things. But on that journey, you know, you you really learned a lot, you know, within your surroundings, within other people, within how you looked at your life, how you looked at your world, how you look at yourself. These are the different things where you're going to say, I'll, I'll I let doubt in more than I actually let encouragement and achievement and thriving, dedication, motivation in. I had doubt. I was very pessimistic, you know. I kept a whole lot of people around me. A lot of people that just wanted to breathe all kind of death and fear in my life. You know what I'm saying? And I always felt like I needed them around me when it was just like all you needed was yourself. You had to become your best friend because when you know you are becoming your own best friend, there's a lot of times, you know, I tell people <laughs> real quick, there was times I felt like I didn't want to be alone with my thoughts and people looking at me, what, what the hell going on with you? Like there was, I was going through a psych, you know, psychosis or something like that. I was like, no, not realize I was going through a spiritual awakening and this was my gift that was trying to open up and that mess scared the mess out of me, you know, but it got to that point where I was always in a club, you know, smoking weed, drinking, popping pills, all that stuff, you know. All that stuff, and I had cut the, all that stuff out to where I had to be my own best friend. You have to be, you know, because there's a lot of people that can't be by themselves. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, that feel like, you know, doing the bump and grind horizontal hustle is the most important thing in the world. When you just had to be to yourself, loving yourself, press a pause for the cause. Let me go focus on me. You know, because look at the stuff I was attracting when I really didn't care about myself. And then you're starting to notice when you're going through these transformation situations, you had to be very particular, very selective. You don't settle for nothing. You raise your bar. If you can't reach that bar, it wasn't meant for you too. If you don't understand the message I'm putting out, it wasn't for you. You know, it, I'm, you're not on that vibe. We ain't supposed to connect then. Peace. You know, it, it'll be on those different things. You're starting to learn. You're starting to respect yourself more. You're starting to love yourself. Like, hey, whoa. That energy, I'm allergic to that. There's no antihistamine. There ain't no penicillin going to protect me from that. No, you can't do that. You being very particular about different things that you want in your life. Being very particular about how you open up. You talk about people or you talk amongst yourself. Are you seeing the world? You know, allowing myself to heal every day where I'm not placing judgment on somebody. You know, because we don't know. Even when we see somebody doing something they really shouldn't be doing. You know, just pray for that person. But we can't be a judgment on that person when we were probably like that about two or three months ago. Hell, two or three years ago. Well, we were seeing what something was good for us, but I was too lazy to go through change. I didn't want change. You can't make me change, whatever. You know what I can make you change. Don't expect something good to come out of your life when you ain't elevating yourself. You can't blame nobody but yourself, you know. But you're moving forward and you're moving accordingly. And you starting to notice sometimes you got to be in, in that solitude so I can focus on me. Let me see where if I know I want better in my life, I got to do better. I got to speak better. Be in a vibration of better. Having what my surroundings are better. You know, blocking out anything that depletes me. Allow myself to let go of the stuff that keeps me stressed out and not bringing the best out. You know, those are the different things that you're going through where, shoot, God going to start bringing encouragement in for you. Where is he like, dad, you know, they really sitting in their power like that. They being ruthless. You know, you got to be. This is a doggy dog world out here. You have to be. You know, you have to be on that vibe like, no, I hold my boundaries up. If that's something, uh-uh. Because I already see, if I can't talk to you, you ain't going to talk at me. I'm not going to talk at you. If we can't talk, it ain't meant for us to. If this can't go for an open conversation or something difficult, because you should be around people where you can have uncomfortable conversations. This is how we grow. This is how we appreciate one another. If this is going to become a problem where it's going to already come in combative. And we on that, ain't on that mature level to be able to converse. Oh, I, I'm good. I ain't wasting my energy on that boo-boo. He's -boo. <laughs> like, what? Is, mm, mm, mm. It's good. All right, I'll talk to you later. Or I'll see you later. <laughs> you know, namaste. You love and like. Be one of those different things. And you're seeing how you're starting to move accordingly. And you see different things where you're putting boundaries up. And you know, and real cheese, you already know. If they want me, I will, you know what, I can respect their boundaries. Because when it comes to me, I want them to respect mine. Anytime somebody get upset about your boundaries, that means there's some kind of way they're not going to be able to benefit off of misusing you, manipulating you. All those different things you're seeing in life where, you know, I wasn't taking life seriously. I didn't take myself seriously. You know, that's a big no-no. You got to be able, you are you. You are your own vessel. You got to handle this, that. You, you could have been going through some rough stuff. Hell, we all have. 
you know, well, not everybody, you know, but you don't gone through some stuff. But it don't mean that your life has to continue to do that way, be that way. You can be able to change, you know, every day. You be able to allow yourself to be able to do that. You get older, you get wiser, being teachable. You're never too old to learn new stuff. You know, you appreciate everything that takes place into your life, whether it was negative or it was positive. But you understand why it had to take place. Because sometimes when we're in the middle of, you know, you're going through that spiritual warfare. <laughs> that mess ain't no joke. Dark night of the soul. Much love and light to you. You know, all those things. You're, you're going through these different things. And a lot of times this is where you make sense at or where you need to change up, square up. Come, you know, you got to be able to represent yourself. You're your own walking advertisement. You know, and you're in those vibrations like, look, if it's not breathing prosperity, growth into my life, taking me to that next level, making me want to be more than what I am today and appreciate whatever, you know, love language we talk about. We flowing in it, you know, but I'm not breathing in toxicity, stagnation and all that. I can't. Mm -mm, I've been there, done that, you know, tit for tat. No, I'm not doing I'm not coming out my character or peace. That's not what I'm going to do. You know, I'm staying in that. That is hazard to my health. You start changing different things that's going on in life, you know. But as I say, you know, you don't want to judge anybody for what they are doing or what they're not doing. We have to understand, you know, everybody's going through their stuff. Everybody moves different. Just because you're on your healing journey, you can't force somebody else to do it if they're not ready yet. That's something to do. Because, I, don't, you know, I remember when people used to, oh, well, you got to heal from this, you got to heal from this, you got to let go of this. And I'm mm -hmm, okay. And I see where that, when they were actually speaking truth to me. You know, really speaking truth that I had to really understand in life. And I'm really appreciating that. Now, now I see where that issue was. I see where my problems were. And I had to be able to appreciate that situation from bringing me as far as it has. And it's taking me, you know, it, it's excelling me. Just because I don't have to look at my situation, my past, as something very traumatic, even though it was. This opened me up in a purpose I never thought I would be at. You know, never thought I'd be at, you know, be transparent, you know, being real upon real. It's like real, recognize real when fake walk in the room, you know, be some stuff like that. Be very transparent about that. Not feeling shame of the things that I used to do. It's not something I'm very proud of and I want to be able to advertise that. But it's just being able to say, this is what got made me a better person, you know. Because a lot of time we, we don't speak on different things because we're worried about what people say. That's external validation. Whatever they say about us, that's what is. No. How you feel about yourself is self-validation. Nobody can't tell you. It ain't none of your business about whatever other people want to say about you. You know what's real. They know what's real. You know. You know truth and they want to do whatever. You know. And it's okay. You know. I'm sure with myself. You know. I move forward into that. You know. Whatever anybody say about me, it's none of my business. Nobody's perfect, you know, who are you to judge me? I'm not judging you. I'm not God. I can't do that You know you ask for some advice. I can gladly give it to you, but I can't make you appreciate it I can't make you you know make you accept it, but that is what it is, but it's not gonna stop my flow <laughs> It's not going you know, it's not gonna be that vibe where it's gonna stop me from doing me You know, I become better every day you know, whatever I was stumbling on yesterday, going to be my stepping stool today. Whatever it was yesterday brought it to my attention on what needed to change. I give, you know, I send gratitude for the most high, you know, and appreciate that. Because all these different things that happens in our life don't mean just because it started off detrimental. Don't mean it has to stay that way. It was like that situation, whatever you're in, that may be your, that, that may be your joker, joker, deuce, deuce card right there. Or whatever you went through. And you overcome that. You see the different things that held you back. You see the different situations where you second guessed yourself. You didn't believe in yourself. You know, you were talking down to yourself. You can admit that. You know, going through different things. I, I doubted myself a lot. Even if I'm not exactly where I want to be, it's preparing me for that. I want to be the person I needed when my whole butt was a hot mess back then. I'm becoming that. That person I pray for, I'm sitting dead smack into that blessing. Even when you you just going through some stuff, you know, you really trying to understand it. How can I pray about it? You are a lot stronger than you were when you first started this journey. You're being very selective about what you choose to entertain on your journey. And you are already allowing yourself to let love, love, I'm going to stand in that. Anything that goes against that, that's not my vibe. Anything that comes projecting it, that I'm shielding that off. 
And I still send love and heck, you know, blessings towards that. Somebody want to threat putting all death in my life or whatever. I'm still going to pray for you. You know, me praying for you ain't going to stop my blessings. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to still send that towards your way. You know, and not even take it personal, even when it's directed towards me. You know, there, a lot of times we go through that. It, it can be very hurtful when people do stuff like that. And it's like, how you want to tell me not to take it personal? We, you know, we get human emotions. We, we spiritual beings in human emotions. You know what I'm saying? So it's, you know, we, we go through that. But then when you allow yourself to not take it personal, like, okay, that's that person. It is what it is. You know, I know what I do. They know what I do. It's okay. You know, what I think about me is what's important to me. How I be able to show up for myself when nobody else show up for me, that's what's important for me. Still sending grace for that. You know, being able to allow myself to say, I don't came a mighty long way. I, I'm blessed to be my own best friend. You know, because when you with yourself, you have to love yourself. Because when you don't love yourself, you know, that you can tell somebody that. You're like, what do you mean I don't love myself? And a lot of time I used to take that, oh, hold up, don't be coming at me like that. But it's, it's true. When you love yourself, you ain't going to let just anything just come up in your, in, your, in your vibrations. You ain't going to let nothing disturb your peace. When you love yourself, even if you are surrounded by all hate, you, put, you adding that love towards yourself to make up for the stuff that it's not. You know what I'm saying? And when you when you see something is not taking you to that next level, like, okay, that frame of mind of how I'm thinking in that vibe is very low vibrational, very negative. This is what's going to hold me back. You know, even when those certain things is taking place where it's coming back up, is you learn that lesson. You know, because right now we went through that, what is, I think it's the flower moon that was like the fifth and the sixth. That mess had some heavy energy that was coming in. You probably got all these creative vibes. Then you start hearing the ear ringing at different pictures and stuff like that. Stuff coming up. That really just shook you to the core. Like how the heck did I forget something like that? You have to understand, especially if it's trauma. It's a lot of trauma. You don't know if you went through it as a, a, a young, young child, adolescent, or this is something recent. You know, a lot of times when it's very hurtful we suppress a lot of things and our mind tends to want to pack that up and let it be you know but these are those times where you're leveling up in ways you didn't know because the more it gets uncomfortable the more you are leveling up okay it's supposed to be like that because they want to know you gonna still show up for yourself you gonna strike when the iron's hot you gonna kick in that door when they still want us up here and block it that's what it's doing because you you seeing all the stuff that you went through you're not allowing your past to hold you back you're appreciating what it taught you you know just because somebody put they placed the mask on you they choose to wear uh-uh I don't, I don't do masquerade i love my face it's very pretty i like that you know i'm gonna move on my truth you don't want to do that that they ain't got nothing to do with me but i'm moving accordingly you know and just keep walking like that because i see all that change that I went through, okay, even when I had to go through it by myself, it was the worst situation I could ever go through, like I said, <laughs> the stuff I went through, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy, even the ones that put me there, I wouldn't wish that on them, because this is some stuff right here, <laughs> it was really heavy, but I allowed myself to really use this as something to make me better, because it allowed me to be very selective, about what I say, make me very selective or where my thoughts, I'm allowing my thoughts to go through. Whatever is coming up, it, it wanted to be able to show you've held on to this long enough. Don't punish yourself from that pain that happened years ago. This let that be your growth. You know, you're seeing different things. You're you're being chosen for that generational curse to change that. It didn't start with you, but it's ending with you. And, and, you know, the devil don't want that to take place because he likes chaotic, you know, destruction. Us all at each other's throat. We're not, you know, we're doing real nefarious things to one another. That's what he like. He like that drama. But it is at that point where, yes, this happened in my life. This is not something I want to brag about. This is not something I want to dwell on. But it made me a better person. You know, even though my life was like that, don't mean it had to continue to be that way. I had to go through some hardcore changes. There will be different days. I cried until I had no voice. My eyes were swollen shut. You know. And it, it was just like. I just. I was in moments of despair. It's okay. Because you're going through something like that. You're facing that stuff. Even when you don't understand. Why I had to go through that. You may still not understand what you're going through. But you see the changes that took place from that situation. That's some real G-ish. 
You know, you're facing those different things. You're using that as something to be able to create better for you. And you know, when you want to create better and do better and want to walk in better, you want to be very aggressive to yourself. You want to be very selective about what you're breathing in and breathing out. Because when you know you're going through that transference and all that, that that's some real heavy stuff. You can't have nothing that's going to go against that. You ain't going to allow yourself to breathe on what's going against that. Even when you want to be able to say something just because somebody want to bring you out of character like that, that's the whole point. You know, everybody that's in your life, you know, whether it's going against you or for you, encouraging you or make you doubt, this is all a part of your growth. You needed both of those for you to be able to come better. So these are the different growth you know, it's really taking place in your life to be able to show you, even though things started off that way, it don't have to be that way. But it's just up for you. Nobody can't do that for you. Nobody can't save you but you. Nobody can't get you out of your situation but you. You're being assisted, you know, all the time from your spiritual enforcements up there, the most high. All that, you know, and it'll be breathing that into you. This is not your pain that I need you to bear and keep carrying it. This is a thing that I placed into your life to do things that maybe other people don't have the courage to do. And I placed you on this journey, in that war, in that situation, for you to be able to know you can get through this. You can overcome this. These are certain things that's not going to stop you. This is going to elevate you in every kind of way this needs to be possible. But it's up to you to be able to push that. You have to be able to do that. It's only you can do this. You know, and don't, you know, this block, this block, this block. Only you can block you and just leave it at that. Only you can. But you work hard. You do what you need to do. Don't give up on yourself. Don't keep on, you know, making a thing like, I'm not going to ever overcome this. I'm not going to. Because you're breathing that into your reality. You won't say, I'm going to overcome this. I'm going to know how how crazy it's going to be. You know, there going to be days I'm going to be upset. There going to be days I'm going to want to really get, give God the business, all that stuff. You already know that. You know, but this is what he made out of you. He's showing you the potential you have to make it. You know, and a lot of times we second guess that, but just look at the stuff you have faced. Look at the things, some kind of miraculous way. You have overcome stuff that you didn't never think you were going to get over. You had to walk away from a lot of things and a lot of people you never thought you would have to, you know, you would have to part ways with. But you, some kind of way you move forward, you start seeing things unfolding for you. You know, but you're also dealing with different challenges because, you know, when you leveling up, you're going to deal with a lot of different strategies, and it's going to get harder and harder. But so are you. You're going to become tougher and tougher. And you already seeing only God can move me. Okay? If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. I can't fuss with that. You know, you know, God or Reaper and all that. Got to do what you got to do. But while I'm here, let me make my life meaningful. While I'm still breathing, let me see how I can elevate myself. You know, what can I you do in my life to where I, I'm not just helping myself, but I'm helping other people. Because some kind of way, you already know, if you're an empath, if you're, you're a Hayoka, all those different things, you're put on here on a mission where people, you 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 end up, you are that believer truth. <laughs> you know, anything that people think that, you know, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. God will drop that bomb right there. Well, they did. They did this, this, and this, and that. They had to face this, and this, and that. They had to let go of this, and this, and that. They had to heal from this, this, that. You know? And they had to be able to see it that way. It's possible. You know? Everything, we, we feel like there are certain things, there's no possible way you can make something good out of that. You can be in the most ugliest predicament, the most ugliest experience that you can go to known to mankind. And end up making something so beautiful out of that. Like, it'll be one of those things that God will put you on a, you know, put you on the map to be able to show this is one of my, my, my soldiers. I had to go through the worst situation known to man where you, there's no kind of way something beautiful can come out of that. And I made it happen between them. Because it's too, yes, when we're doing something like that and we're making our mark in the world, the what we're doing is never going to come easy. You know, you're going to have your moments. You're going to have times which you're going to have doubts. All those other things. But these are those times where this is how you grow. You know, you get hurt by somebody. This is how you heal. This person tried to do this for you when you got angry. This is how you allow yourself to move through peace. You know, different things you need to cut away from. Things you need to let go of. Because it'll show you 
This is what happens when you don't heal. This is what happens when you're still allowing yourself to be stuck in that stagnant vibration. These things is not taking you nowhere. It's like a rocking chair. You move back and forth, but ain't going nowhere. But those are the different things where you're saying, let me step out my own way. I want progression, but this is, you know, a pra what they call it, procrastinate. You know, all those different things. And you'll see, you know what, I had to really set fire to my own flame. You know, it had to be those different things because I'm determined that I'm going to rise above all these different things that I was placed in. That's what it was meant for, you know. And these are the different things that's taking place for that to happen. But you have to be able to see it as well, you know. We got light, we got potential, we got power. You know, and there's a lot of times when we're facing certain strategies, certain obstacles, we don't feel that. But these are those things where you seeing the stuff you look is coming against you. You think somebody weak can be able to do some stuff like that? And I mean, man, your stuff had weight on it. You know, every situation you had had weight on it. It wasn't no, no petty thing. You know, it wasn't, you know, for the little people, you know, or, or, or the little smurf type situation. This is something like Godzilla, King Kong type stuff you dealing with, you know. You were that, that soldier that was sitting, you know, you had a whole bunch of spiritual around you. You were the one who had to face that. Now, nobody else with you, but, you know, your spiritual enforcements that you didn't know that was that was getting you through that. And those are the different things they're trying to show you. Just because your life started like that, shh, ain't got to end that way. It's up to the choice where you choose to make your own decisions. You can be that one to step your, your faith up, step your game up. You being, you know... You're knowing this is me. This is what I can get better. This is going to flow the way I need to go. I'm going to move forward. No questions asked. And be very unapologetic for it. And just go ahead and do that. But you already know you're going through different situations in life right now. And maybe it got you shook. It make you, you know, really want to stay focused on that. But God said focus what you can bring out of this. Not something that already happened. You already know how that is. It's like you rereading. You know, you're watching the same movie over and over and over again. You know, which we do. At times, I know there's a couple of favorites I like. But you already know how that's going to end. You already know who the villain is. You already know how this going to be. But why are you going to stay focused on that when I'm trying to create you to do something better? I just only use that for your lesson, you know, to lead you towards blessings. This is supposed to be a season. But it had ultimate reasons. And these are the different things that's coming on into your life that really makes you grow. It really allow yourself to see in a beautiful light. You know, God ain't going to sit up here, you know, a lot of times we have to, I'll be questioning. You know, at times, like, God ain't going to put nothing on you, you ain't bare. Nothing he can't see you through. There's nothing that God can't fix into your life that he makes it possible. And a lot of times, you know, it, it may be hard to be able to digest that at times. You know, I'm not in no religion, but I'm heavy on my spiritual. I see a lot of things that God done breathed into my life that I never knew possible. It was some real G stuff, you know. But it's just being able to appreciate how far I've come. How much I've been open to different situations, not being shameful. I always tell people, don't be shamed of the things you went on in your life. Nobody can't judge you but God. There's a lot of times people be walking around here because they sin. You, you, you sin different than we do. But, you know, allow that to roll off your back. It's how you see yourself. How you believe who you are. Don't let somebody else tell you who you are. You know, you're manifesting everything. You're going to be better than you were yesterday. And that should be your thing for you growing in that way. So you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.